do a lot of machine tool calibrations. So we thought this year we'd answer some of the questions that are commonly asked about machine calibrations to us. Some of those questions are, why calibrate your machine? What are different types of calibrations that we offer? And what kind of improvement can we expect on our machine calibration? And how long do these calibrations take? First one, why calibrate your machine? The obvious reason to calibrate your machine would be to make accurate parts. The other reasons, you may want to implement the calibration into your preventive maintenance program to monitor any degradation in the accuracy of the machine through time. You may want to certify a machine that's utilized in probing so you can use the probes for part inspection. And you may just want to know what the accuracy limitations of your, your machine are uh, so you can quote that job appropriately. A study from Hewitt Packard discovered that out of 57 machines installed in a production area, 88% of those machines were found to not meet the acceptance requirements, which means that the parts that those machines were going to manufacture were not going to be to the requirements of the customer as well. So basically, a good calibrated machine means good parts. Now I'm going to explain the errors of a typical three-axis machine tool, a horizontal or vertical typical three axis would have six errors for each one of the axes, X, Y, and Z. For a total of 18, plus you'll have three possible squareness errors for a total of 21 errors. Some of the calibration solutions we provide at API Services support the Fagor control, the Siemens control, as well as the Fanuc, and then we got about 20 other different type of controllers that we also support calibration for. Some of the options you can find on controllers today for doing calibration may range from unidirectional, which will compensate for pitch error comp in a single direction, and then bidirectional, which will compensate for pitch error in both directions, and then straightness, which will compensate for any errors in the axis alignment. And then we go to our volumetric three axis, which will correct for all 21 parameter errors. The five axis, which will map the 21 parameter errors plus the tool vector corrections. Utilize the rotary to correct for the tool vector. And then we have our VEC, which will correct for all 43 possible errors in a five axis machine tool. Two enhancements, of course, was the bidirectional straightness compensation. And this is most commonly found on your controllers today. Now I want to talk a little bit about moving into the volumetric calibration opportunities. And what's, what does the volumetric buy you? Well, the conventional calibrations will not correct for any angular error in a machine tool. Here's a graphic depicting a machine on the left that is oriented to its design intent, which all the axes are parallel, the tool vector is normal to the design intent and the TCP tool center point is at its design location. On the right side, we show at the top graph there what a machine would look like typically without any compensation where the tool tip and the vector are off center and not normal to the machine axis. We first go to the three axis application which will correct for the tool tip center only. So now we are compensating the correct errors for that. And then the third option is the five axis, which will correct for the tool tip center point as well as correct for the tool vector as well. The reason for the volumetric essentially is because of a pretty significant error that you will find what we refer to as Abbey offset error. This error is generated because when we do a calibration at the linear encoder movement area, we're comping at that location inside the controller. But effectively, we're measuring where the tool tip is, which could be a meter and a half, two meters, whatever, from that actual calibration scale or encoder. And what happens is, because you do have a pitch error in that machine rail, the tip, tool tip will actually be advanced or lag behind us that actual design intent. Now I'm going to talk about some of the volumetric calibration solutions that we have and that we support. The first one is a Siemens volumetric solution, the VCS. This solution utilizes our XD laser, which is the only laser on the market that's capable of mapping all six errors on an axis simultaneously. 
We also develop a 21 error lookup table format utilizing all the errors from that XD system. And then we also support the uh, kinematic rotary uh, corrections for the, uh, Siemens, in the Siemens controller. We also support the Fanuc volumetric solution, which, also, which utilizes our API laser tracker and active target, which is demonstrated on the OKK machine next to me here. Here we actually measure a grid uh, through the volume, and we generate an error table based on the errors at each one, one of the points at the grid for the XYZ error. And then that table is input into the controller. We also support Fagor solution, which this utilizes, again, our XD laser system. And we generate a 21 parameter error table. And this is only offered in the three axis solution right now. And all these compensations we do, we do have our own uh, auto comp software. So we're able to generate the programs automatically and populate the parameter tables into the controller with the right syntax uh, formatting. And then we have the API VEC Global Freeform Error Mapping and Compensation. This is uh, our latest uh, VEC uh, in total package for volume metric we, we consider. Freeform meaning asymmetrical. We actually collect the data of a point, on a point cloud which is uh, very random throughout the volume, utilizing all five axes. Now, the VEC was developed as a joint um, process here between Boeing and API back in 2008. We've done 40 plus machines with a lot of success uh, in the calibrations, improvements of four to five times. Now, for years, manufacturing has been searching for a solution to be able to calibrate all the errors of a five, six axis machine, do it very efficiently and very accurately. And we feel that the VEC solution developed by the API Boeing team has been very successful in doing that. Now, VEC was actually de uh, developed based on the same theory utilized for robotic calibration, whereas a kinematic error model is developed describing the errors of the links and the joints of the robot and the corrections are done through a six error matrix transformation of all the different joint uh, errors. Now we've taken that and implemented it into the machine tool where now we error map all 21 errors. This is a photograph here showing some of the setups of the laser tracker with the active target on some of the machines we've done in the past. And you can notice that all these machines, the tracker is sitting on the turntable so that we also capture the rotary axis simultaneously. Now our VEC again utilizes our laser tracker, active target, we error map the entire volume. And what's different about the kinematic model here versus the one used in robotic calibration is it does utilize a polynomial based equation, which basically is a best fit curve data line for each axis. And then the variables for this equation are the position of the machine that is once it's input into the controller. This is a graphic here of a typical measurement set up with the uh, XD and laser tracker where we have a uh, long tool, short tool measurement. And this is how we depict the angular errors for the rotaries by creating a vector and then comparing it to the design vector. Here we have an example of some of the analysis that can be done in the VEC software. Uh, well, here we're showing a 3D error map mission plot of the errors on a machine which show a 23 thousandths max errors after calibration, four thousandths. Now benefits of VEC again, quick compensation times. We can simultaneously measure the rotaries and linears at the same time and we can do up the six axes simultaneously. And we do have all the turnkey software solution for doing the programs and implementing the compensation into the controller. API was awarded three different uh, awards back in 2010 for this VEC solution, including the R&D Magazine Best 100 Innovative Technology Award, Advanced Defense Manufacturing Technology Award, and the Fogel Magazine Top 20 Best Innovation Award. And listed at the bottom, you can see some of our partners in developing the VEC. VEC today and the future, VEC is directly integrated into the Siemens 840D. 
We now have the black box solution that we're showcasing in the OKK machine in our booth. And we're also working with other OEMs presently to integrate it as a uh, solution within their controllers. Now, recap of some of the accuracy improvements on your calibrations. First, you know, the standard comp and the straightness comp typically will get pretty good uh, improvement on those. If we go in and the scale's not properly stretched or aligned, we can uh, see quite a, quite a bit of improvement. But we have no benefit of that of correcting for any angular error. We only will know that that machine's true at that actual measured location. With the VCS three axis verification, about a three service day event, we'll get three to five times improvement and we are correcting for pitch yaw and roll errors there, as well as the straightness and position. But look, same thing, we're correcting for the uh, volume, three axis, two days, service days, Pagor, three axis verification, uh, three days, three to five times improvement, our BEC, which is a five axis verification, one service day, four to five times improvement. Now, to go through some of the improvements that you're going to get again directly off of each one of the calibration solutions, we have the unidirectional, as we said, which corrects for only the linear in one direction, your bi-direction, which will correct for both directions of uh, error, and the straightness, which any misalignment of the waves. And then we have our volumetric three axes, which will correct for 21 errors. Our volumetric five axes, which corrects for the 21 errors, plus the uh, rotary tool vector, and BEC, which will correct for all 43 errors.